Good evening, Zoda One race fans. Thank you for joining us for this uh, 2024 Zoda Randomizer Winter Tournament. This is week two of Swiss matchups. Uh, we have tonight Mooners and Phoenix versus Indy Indy. Uh, both runners are looking to get their first win of the season. Uh, I am your host, Deus Ex Machina, also known as DEM Gaming. And joining me tonight doing double duty as uh, co-commentator and tracker is Magic Friends. How are you doing tonight, Magic? I'm doing great. Welcome back to week two. Uh, these seeds have proven to be very difficult on our runners, so let's see if we have one of our fun seeds tonight, or if we get to dig deep and figure out the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, these uh, these flag sets have been pretty brutal, uh, to be honest. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I chose to sit this tournament out, was <laughs> I just could never get a mastery of this uh, flag set. And, uh, yeah, it, it amazes me that these runners are um, doing them as quickly as they are. Uh, but they are uh, readied up. They should be starting here very soon. Yeah, I've had two very interesting seeds myself. So we'll see what we can uh, get going. Uh, in this flag set, they will start on the wood sword screen. I suspect both runners will take the wood sword, but I have seen a few runners take the candle. Uh, Moon Risen takes the wood sword. Indy takes the wood sword. So, yeah. Uh, and they have started up in Casino Row. This is, uh, or Casino Corner. This is not the real ideal starting spot just because it's so far up in one corner. You kind of like to start more in the middle of the map, but this does give them three early Armos checks. Um, so that could be huge. Last night's uh, match that I called the Armos item was the Silver Arrow. So if that's, uh, if it, if the Armos item is another important item like that, this could be big to start this close to it. The one benefit we're going to have is that we did start with the recorder. So as soon as they can dig a Triforce out of the dungeon, they'll have some place that they can warp to if they want to do an up A or if they take an overworld death. That's a very good point, and there's also, I think, 11 uh, recorder spots in the overworld, um, because this is a mixed quest, um, so there's both uh, first quest and second quest uh, overworld spots, so they um, they have plenty of uh, checks to do with that recorder. Uh, Moonrisen gets an early bomb drop, so he's going to start bombing around start, and Indy is already checking recorder spots at, uh, well, first quest vanilla 2. Um, I forget what the second quest vanilla dungeon is there. Uh, Mooners and finds a blue candle. So he's parlayed that uh, bomb drop into a blue candle already. Um, and that is going to pay off because he's start. you know, we're starting near the forest. So there's plenty of bombs, uh, burn bushes, but he's going to go bomb around some more up in the lost hills. Uh, that isn't is any key. Yeah, any, uh, Indy just got the any key from the Armos item, so um, like I said, if that Armos item was an important item like that, that is a great item to get early. Haven't even found a single dungeon yet, and you already don't have to worry about uh, keys. Last night's seed was so key blocked that it was, uh, both runners were just struggling non-stop for keys, so love to see a key, uh, an any key this early. Looks like we're going to see a lot of divergence. Moon Risen taking those bombs and is going up towards the White Sword Cave, and he sees our first uh, medium secret at 29. And he is going to manipulate the uh, recorder a little bit more and go check our ladder spot. Yeah, I was just getting ready to mention the divergence. You love to see divergence at the beginning. Um, get to see a lot of the overworld very quickly as a spectator. And the coast item is Silver Arrows! Wow. So the game is being very kind to us so far. An any key Armos item, Silver Arrows Coast item. Now we just need to find that ladder. The game could, uh, the game can giveth and the game can taketh if that ladder is buried deep in a shape six or something. Um, it, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so far this is, uh, this is a pretty good start. I, I don't think. Uh, now Mooners and up a restarted? Uh, it looked like he used up his bombs, and other than this first bomb cave, he didn't like the other spots that he used it at, so he was trying to reset his bomb count. Gotcha. Uh, and Indy finds a cheap bomb shop down on the coast. Only five rupees for bombs tonight. That is a good deal. Uh, he does not have a, a candle yet, so he is not going to be able to burn any of these bushes. Um, 
Looks like he's maybe heading up towards uh, the desert, maybe going to check some more recorder spots. And Moon Risen is also heading towards the desert, it looks like. Well, those are our secret numbers. We've got 95 for our large. There would be three of those on the overworld, which is just a hair under average. We've got 19 for our small, and we've got 27 or 28 for our medium. So pretty average money seed. There's the possibility of getting a ring if you want it. There's, But at, with the Eddie key, you really only have to buy about... An, well, we know where the arrows are, too. So there's a good shot they don't need... Uh, keys they don't need arrows uh blurring is really in play here yeah that's a good point um moon risen is going to find his any key um and he will be happy to see that um i guess i was <laughs> i was wrong in saying that both of them were going to head to the desert moon risen went to the forest and has been burning bushes uh and indy went over towards vanilla start oh uh, he finds magical swords um, I'm not sure if we'll get back to that or not. Um, we, we don't see a lot of people go for the magical sword in this tournament flag set. A lot of times, uh, if they find the white sword um, in the items or in the uh, dungeons, then they just stick with that. Um, Heart Shuffle is on as well. Um, I'm not sure if we mentioned that. We have level 8 on Indie screen. That was over at the river by Vanilla Start. Well, one benefit is that this is not a level 8 setup that can be a sec a second quest 8. So we're at least in first quest 8, if not shapes. That's a good point, too. And in, in this flag set, um, it should be mentioned that levels 1 through 6 can be one set. It will either be vanilla first quest, vanilla second quest, or shapes. And then 7, 8, and 9 will be something else. Um, we've got level 9 on Moon Risen's screen. That was at the vanilla level 8 burn bush. Um, so yeah, these uh, we haven't seen any second quest enemies yet, so we're not sure if second quest is on or not until we get to them. Uh, we got a banana in level 8, but Indy's going to go ahead and go ahead and take it. So... Wooden Boomerang is one of the staircase items. There's still another staircase item, as well as a floor drop that we're looking for. Definitely early enough to warrant grabbing that Boomerang. It does stun a lot of enemies, which can assist with things like killing them with bombs. And it also, with us having low combat, uh, just being able to control a room that has a ton of stuff like this. That was an awesome bomb. 6 <laughs> And... Now that uh, Indy has the map, we can go ahead and confirm that this is first quest um, level 8. So uh, level 8, uh, level 7, 8, and 9 will be first quest vanilla. So uh, more than likely 1 through 6 will probably be shapes, I'm going to guess. Um, which is actually pretty nice. That's pretty favorable. You'd much rather uh, know where you're going in 7, 8, and 9 than be trying to dig uh, shapes 9 or any of those big dungeons before we find obviously we can tell if we find one of the one through six dungeons but also if we see any ropes that are flashing or if we see any stealth forces that are shooting swords that'll also tell us that the front half is second quest yeah or red and blue bubbles that will steal your sword i don't like talking about those <laughs> This is some great combat from Indy on this four-headed Gleok. Wood sword and green tunic, and he is doing work. Yeah, oh. these things can get really squirrely. Uh, meanwhile, Moon is still uh, whistling around in the desert and uh, check the burn bush. Now he's going to finish his desert checks and probably head back through the forest it looks like oh, oh we got rewarded <laughs> with another one are you kidding me <laughs> you kidding me that's not a, a reward game with three headed gliok wow but he's gonna go back in and uh, try a different path it looks like oh and uh so the hints right there at the i never learned to read um hints 
from the old man, you need the book to understand them. Uh, the book is not an atlas in this flag set, but all the hints after you find the book are uh, helpful, so they are guaranteed to be helpful. Um, Chad is wanting to know if it if that means it shapes front. More than likely, I'm going to guess shapes front end, but we haven't seen um, anything. We haven't really seen enough yet to to know what it's going to be. So I guess we're in such himself. double Patra. Patra. Thanks, eight. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Indy just... If he gets out of this room alive, then he'll obviously continue on. But if not, I, I don't suspect he's going to spend much more time in here. I would have already marked it combat blocked and came back later. But again, that's why I am commentating and not running this... Uh, Flag set. The rotation patches tend to be a little bit easier. Oh, you know what? There's some ropes on the overworld, and they're not flashing. So we definitely have shapes on the back half. Yeah, very good. So yeah, shapes back at uh, shapes one through six, um, and first quest vanilla seven, eight, and nine. We also see that there are dark nuts on the overworld. And so, and we saw the Gurias in the dungeon. So it looks like our dungeon sets are going to be Guria based. And I haven't. Did we see any Lionels yet? I haven't seen any Lionels. So it might be Guria, Lionel, and Wizrobe. I have not seen Lionels, um, but I did see a blue candle pickup for Indy and Wood Arrow purchase for Moonrisen and a bait purchase for Moonrisen. So, Moonrisen is ready to go. I'm I, level 5 found on Indie screen up, up at Death Armos. Um, it's curious, Moonrisen knows that the coast item is Silver Arrows, but he still went ahead and bought Wood Arrows. Oh, book on the floor in 5. How nice. That's another item that's good to find early in a seed like this, because now he will understand all the hints. Oh, I hate when gels roll up. Gels are the worst. Gels and keys are the worst when they roll up. Me and Moonrisen have talked a lot in comms about this, and both of us kind of subscribe to the to the find the wand syndrome. We like that, <laughs> that one. But both of us kind of subscribe to the fact that if we get enough money, we're going to spend it instead of like just letting the mugger, the door repair yeah, charges take the it. the door repairs. And that's a good, that's a very good uh, strategy. Um... He was about 20 rupees short of getting the blue ring, but he also was out of bombs at the time, so I saw him get some bombs at that point. And now, once you see the arrow, you buy that, and you never have to worry about being goma blocked and having to go back and find arrows to get your ladder. And now all the rest of the money can just go towards a blue ring. He's, you know, he's got his any key. Yeah. The bombs are super cheap, so he can just, if he finds more money, get a blue ring. If not, you don't have to buy anything else. Yeah, you're not wrong there, Kirby fan. Level 5, the burning yourself care package. This is where a blue ring would be nice, whenever you whenever you have wand with the book. Because, um, yeah, all I ever end up doing is killing myself with it. Compass found at 5, so uh, Indy will... Try to make a beeline over there. Oh, there's your Lionels in an NSU room. That's one of the worst rooms to see them in because it's hard to dodge the uh, the beams that they shoot. How do horses have laser swords? I don't care. <laughs> now, Indy has left level 5 without the Triforce. Um, I guess he knows where it's at. I hope he remembers that he has the any key because it wasn't a key door. So hopefully he didn't think he was key blocked because he has the any key. Oh, that's the wrong button, Burr Cindy. Go back. Wow, we I think we found all the take innies already. Oh no, I guess uh, there you go. I guess um there's one more. Because Indy found one and took the blue candle. 
And Moon Risen found two other ones that took a blue candle and a heart. The Andy Roads are looking pretty good tonight, though. They're taking us to pretty much every corner of the map. Okay, we know that Dig Darger has the wand, and he's checking some of the hints here. He checked the cheap hint and found out that the Dig Darger has the wand he already has. <laughs> Isn't that the way the hints always go? All right, now we got Moon Risen into level 5, so the, the, both the book and the any key were pretty easy. I think the book was this room. Uh, yeah, the book should be in here, uh, and the wand is the next one. Yeah, this is the wand room. It's funny, for as much divergence as there was starting out, and now the runners are pretty much in the exact same <laughs> spot as each other. They're each going to have the wand, the book. All roads lead to the same place, appears. Let's see if uh, Moon Risen can get to the Triforce on his first uh, go-round in level 5. Careful! No, oh, he hit himself with the fire. He, he, uh, did a, he did a 360 to try and dodge the um, Dig Dogger pod that was coming towards him, and he walked right into his own fire. Yeah. Now he's going to see the map and... So meanwhile, Indy is doing some Death Mountain checks. Uh, um, finding some more secrets and coins. Oh, trying to get the screen scroll, but these levers are not being nice. Oh, he's just trying to get to the other screen. In Death Mountain's an interesting play. You have a lot of still open things that don't require resources, whereas Death Mountain is a lot of bombs. Uh, and usually you need... If you're doing a full clear of Death Mountain, I think you need 10 bombs and a power and a uh, power bracelet. So a lot, of, a lot of runners would wait, but it also is something that can pay off really great if you find a dungeon or the White Sword item up here. I always end up digging Death Mountain early, but usually it's more just because I'm not good enough to keep up with this um, the more experienced runner, so I kind of have to gamble and hope it pays off if I want any chance. Um, not saying that that's what Indy's doing, but uh, you know, it like you said, it could pay off big time um, if there is a lot of dungeons or something up here. Uh, Moon Risen does get his Triforce out of 5, so he takes a Triforce lead and does not have to come back to level 5 for anything. He's already got both items and the Triforce. Nice bomb, uh, bomb force by uh, Indy on the Weavers. And level 7 found for Moon Risen over in the uh, Dead Woods. Well, this will be a traditional level 7. Um, what is it, 34 Rooms of Doom? That's an expensive bomb upgrade. And you know it's going to be for like two bombs too when they're that expensive. The more expensive they are, the less they give you. That's just the, the rule of the game. And Indy found our last um, take any. He still has one more to find, but we know where they all are. Moon Risen is getting shut down on all of these bomb wall checks. But decides to whip out the wand and do some work on the... Um, I can never remember what those things are actually called. I call them mummies. Uh, Gibdos? Gibdos. Is that I'm right? Like, yeah. Looks like Indy found a dungeon. Yep, level 3 found up in Death Mountain. Uh, I think he was in one of the connectors. Yeah, kind of in that middle section between the two sides of Death Mountain. Ooh, our red wish rose definitely rolled up. That that one just absorbed a bomb. 
Wow. Indy trying to pirouette something open so he doesn't have to waste his last bomb looking for a wall. Some way to enter level 3. Yeah, level 7 can be really tricky with bomb counts. There's, especially if you're not familiar with the traditional layouts of, like, the vanilla game, you can spend a lot of bombs to get nothing in here. Vinderson grabs the Triforce out of 7. It was just free laying on the ground. I... I'm curious if he'll go back in there. I personally wouldn't, and he does not either. <laughs> and he also has the audio glitch where the Glia continues to roar after you leave the dungeon. Finds our other hint shop. Now let's see if he wants to spend... He's got exactly enough for one hint. You might want to check this bottom left corner and see if there's more money before he gets the hints, because it's also not easy for a runner to get back down here. The best thing that Moonrisen could do is whistle to seven. Yeah. Yeah, that would be... That would be the closest way to get back. Which wouldn't be bad if you up a saved... If you finish out check this check had enough money, you could up a save, whistle to seven, check the hints, and then restart. But then you're also restarting all the way back up in the corner of the map. So the very bottom left corner of the map has the letter in it, and a lot of burgers have been grabbing that and picking up some extra potions of these seeds. So Level four found on Indie Screen, so he's found level three and level four up in Death Mountain. I believe they're actually only one or two screens apart from each other. Ah, oh, takes an early death in it. Um, but at least he can actually get into this dungeon. <laughs> I, I don't think he's seen a single room of three yet because he didn't have enough bombs to to get into it. This could be a push block. It is not. Moon risen with the uh Oh pick. that's a bow. Oh, that was a bow. Wow. This seed is just being way too generous. It's kinda like suspiciously generous right now. Like how are you gonna screw me later? Moon risen in oh, there's a pretty free triforce for Indy. And Moon Risen into level 8. Let's see if he finds his uh, wood boomerang. That was pretty much all Indy did was take the wood boomerang and then peace out. Nice clock for Moon Risen. This could be the um, push block stair item for Indy. And if it is, he will be done with a very quick level 4. Oh, there's a Triforce in level 8 for Moon Risen. Yeah, but those three items that are still in there are <laughs> tempting him. Yeah, I'm not sure if he actually even meant to get that. I, I just kind of caught it out of the corner of my eye, and I thought maybe he got Y-Forced into it. Goma Creeps at the Grave. Do we know that? That uh, is level, level 6. We yeah, have not found up level to 6. The graves yet at all, so. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's information that he has that um, Indy has does not have at this time. And some nice combat work out of Moon Risen with that wand on a Gliok, and he finds the double Gliok. <laughs> he finds the, the same double Gliok that uh, I think drove Indy to just finally leave. Oh, don't worry, he's gonna uh, get a double patcher <laughs> no, right after Double patcher? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a nice block clip out of Indy to fight these Lamolas. And he's gonna be rewarded with the item, it looks like. Red candle? Okay. He's gonna go ahead and take it. 
So now he has both items out of four, and he knows where the Triforce is, so this should be a pretty quick uh, beeline right back to the Triforce, and then he will likely be moving on. Um, I like any kind of repeatable offense. Well, we know that there's no second quest enemies. If there were second quest red bubbles, then I'd like to have as much repeatable offense as I can. It's a red candle, wand, whatever. Um, but he picks up his first Triforce, level 4. Completely done, has both items, doesn't ever need to come back there. He is heading towards the grave, though, so it looks like he'll probably end up finding that level 6 before Moomerson does. Oh, there it is. It's uh, one screen west of level 4. This is a nice little cluster of dungeons that he's found up here. Except that it has whiz robes in it. And it'll be a shape 6, so... This is... This is arguably probably the worst... What will be the worst dungeon to dig. A shape 6? Because 7, 8, and 9 will be bigger, but you'll know the shape going in. Oh, and he's ladder blocked one way. Not a bomb wall. Still looking for some way around. Yep, he's found a open stairs. And it's the transport, but he opts not to take it. Nice bomb bomb refill though, global bomb. Yeah, Moomer isn't like... still looking for items. Oh, that's I don't think we pushed that block, did we? I don't I don't think we've seen it either. It's a heart container. However, that's the first heart container we found as a dungeon item, so you can't complain too much. I was gonna say, like, at some point they're gonna show up. <laughs> yeah. We also haven't seen the white sword item yet, so it'll likely be a heart container. If the white sword item is the ladder, then this is the nicest seed I've seen yet in the I... flag set. <laughs> I was thinking it, I just didn't want to say it because I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> so Moon Risen up his A's. Is he leaving level 8? Yes, it appears that he is done digging this 8. Oh, we got a map of 6. That's a pretty ugly looking six it's just difficult like all those gaps in it are gonna make it very linear uh hey that's a hint that says where the bow is like uh yeah because no well he he already grabbed the bow yeah uh moon resonance the one that needs to find the bow manhandle it threatens on death mountain that's level three already found but remember moon resonance is the one that knows where level has the hint for where level six is so if he had yeah if he just checks these last couple spots of the dead woods and heads towards it, he's going to then get knowledge of where the bow is. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I think. I think Moon is going to be doing these dungeons just in the other order. He's going to find six first, then four and three. Oh, that's a that's a hard death to take for Indy. He was pretty deep into that dungeon. And yeah, like you were saying, these gaps are going to make it very linear. Now, we do have the any key, so we shouldn't get key blocked on any of them, but uh, it could eat up some bombs if... if uh, see, I, I'm wondering if Indy forgot he has the any key because he just got killed by a whiz robe trying to pick up a key. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it could also be that he was trying to just dodge the whiz robes. It, the, the, when it could you're be. walking from the left and the whiz robes are just staring at you... It, yeah. Okay, so this is level two, and this is actually also at the grave. Uh, it looks like it was at the recorder spot in the graveyard. Map of two. That's a pretty small two. Uh, and that's level one, also at the graveyard. Just, just Jeez. every every dungeon's in the grave. <laughs> Like three, right? Three, one, two, and six all are up here within like yeah, four one, squares of each other. One, two, three, four, and six. And actually, five is only one screen south of six. You just have to walk all the way around the map to get to it. <laughs> but... All 
Oh, there's a nice combat upgrade. White Sword is the basement item in level 1. So Indy now has the White Sword and the Wand. Yeah, most runners, if they can get to that White Sword Wand combination, especially if... Indy has kind of shown that he has some pretty good combat spells, skills here, so... Yeah. yeah, he's definitely using the, the double tap technique. Which is where you can, if you hit the sword and the wand on the correct frame, you can actually deal four points of damage to an enemy with your melee attack. So he, he yeah. looks like he's probably good to go on combat. Although yeah, it essentially he, makes it the magic sword, right? Right. I don't know if he noticed though. There was a there was a uh, uh, wall master walking out of that wall right as he came through the door like just like this one is so that top room he didn't actually fully check and since this is a level one there's going to be two more floor items that's true and moon Risen has just entered level one himself um i didn't see what blocked him in level two he didn't seem to spend very much time in there though so he must have gotten blocked somehow It does seem like a lot of these enemies rolled up, so maybe this is something where he comes in, he goes to finish his checks, finds this one, gets the white sword, and he'll go. He might go back to the two. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and he did just get the white sword out of one. Uh, Indy goes back into one and is going to uh, try to find these other two floor items. Now. Moonrisen is... He doesn't have the map that Indy had, so he does not go up and check that room that Indy didn't clear. That would have been, I would have been interested to see what would have happened there. Oh, now he has the map. Let's see if he goes back up. I think he's just going to go grab his Triforce first. Gleok returns with the boomerang. That means... Uh, well, we already knew that. That means the wooden boomerang is in level 8. Oh, we are ladder blocked. We might be able to get around that. We should be able to get around that by entering from the other room. Yeah, there's a little whittling that we have to do. I think there's also a chance that Moonrise and left 2 because he's down to 1 bomb and didn't want to waste it just kind of firing at some walls. Gotcha. Yeah, that would... Especially going into Death Mountain. Oh, well, I guess Indy had seven bombs, so he doesn't really need that bomb refill, but that's a shame to leave it on the ground. Oh, he gets a bomb refill right now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that Indy has seen all the other rooms in here. I really do think that's a heart container. I do think it's that last room up in the top corner that he didn't fully clear. Fortunately, there's one more room off of the corner of it, so it looks like he's going to head back up in that direction anyways. And that, like, that one little room in that letter E might save him from not recognizing that he left an enemy there. Yeah, that's a good call. Now Moon Risen's uh, over in this uh, eastern side of the map, so he is going to find the floor heart container as well, it looks like. And he gets the bomb pickup, and he'll be probably happy to see a bomb pack on the floor in this next uh, room over. So Indy does not clear that room again, finds himself with a Goma block. He still did not clear that room. Yeah, he still didn't clear that room. I mean, it could just be a heart container, it might not matter. It also could be behind the Goma. He doesn't ha he didn't buy the arrows yet, so he can't clear that Goma. Yeah. Whereas Moon Risen will be able to clear it, and we'll see if this is going to hurt well, him or well, if it won't matter. Well, Moon Risen has the bow, but he, or has arrows, but he doesn't have the bow yet, so he won't be able to clear it in this dip. Don't just stab so him I... in the eye. Just walk up and stab <laughs> him. <laughs> Indy is doing his, uh, I think his final um, West Death Mountain bomb check. And it looks like maybe he's... 
Well, I thought maybe he's going back to three. I'm not sure where he's setting. Uh, there's a, maybe there's a there might be an arrow shop up here. That would be smart. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yep, there is. There it is. Sixty three. Those are cheap arrows tonight too, man. This this is my kind of seed. I paid a hundred for those things last night. <laughs> All right, so this is the room that has been in question. Let's see if Moonrisen clears the room. Okay, so he did clear the room. So th yeah. that is going to so be the must... go off for the last item. Okay. And Indy has arrows and a bow at this point, so he will find this final item. Uh, meanwhile, Moonrisen is probably going to find level... Um, Any of them. <laughs> yeah. Level 6, I think, is the next one along the way. Oh, wait, where's the second item? I did and not just see... Yeah, that's good. I did not see an item there. This is interesting. They've all been... He's been in every room. He is just as confused as we are at this point. Oh, there was two wall masters, but no, he. We saw everything on Moonrise inside. Well, now, and he's thinking the same thing we are. He's kind of like shooting, just hoping to kill some things. Oh, there's a third one. He saw it this time. There's a third wall master, I guess. There right, it is. It's just it's a heart container. Heart. It doesn't matter. So it was in that room. I don't know. I guess maybe there. I guess maybe Moonrisen didn't get the final wall master. He just may not have gotten close enough to the wall to trigger it because he was kind of on the grid line as opposed to on the on the actual. Um, yeah, he the was on the grid. half aisle. Yeah. yeah. But he has found his level six, and. I don't believe that we saw either item out of level 6. I think it was a pretty early Triforce. Or no, maybe it wasn't an early Triforce. Because I remember seeing the map of level 6 and it was pretty big. Oh, this is... Okay. Yeah, we ended up taking a lot of deaths to some wish rooms that keep popping up, so... Yeah. But Indy now has found level 2, so let's see if he gets any further than uh, Mooners and did in level 2. He's got, uh, well, he's in a better position combat-wise than Moon was when he came in. There's the Triforce in six for Moonrism. Yeah, so uh, Chad is saying that Moonrism did not kill the Wallmasters in that room either in his first dip. So it looks like... Looking back, I think what happened is Endy ended up killing the room that was that was key blocked by those blue wizard robes, but he was looking for the rest of the items in the six, and when he saw that the other side of the wizard robe room was shut, he was like, uh, you know what, I don't care anymore. <laughs> so there's our hint about where level nine is. Uh, I can't remember if Indy saw level nine or not. I don't think that he burned the forest yet. Because he didn't have a candle then. Yeah, so I think he, was, he was jumping that, through a lot of candle stuff. Yeah, so that's probably pretty good uh, knowledge for him to find that. Got his compass now. Another floor heart container and two. These next rooms tend to be very awkward. You just you you feel like you can clear it, and then you get sniped by the the blue from across the room, or like you're paying attention to the blue wizard robe, and an arrow hits you in the side of the head. Yeah, yeah, they can be a real pain. Moon risen. Uh doing some work on these whiz ropes with oh we got a ladder and two it is go time uh, yeah, that's now... unless there's which dungeon have we not seen have we uh, 
Yeah, yeah, we've seen them all. Uh, two fulfilled our overworld block by being under the recorder location in the graveyard. Um, and we've seen every dungeon, so he is Triforce and go. He's just got to find all the dungeons, find all the Triforces, and get back over to the coast item. The only thing that he would probably like to find before he enters 9 would be a red ring, maybe. Uh, but otherwise, I don't think you're going to see him digging very many items. And it's interesting, because Moon Risen, you know, looks like he's got a big Triforce lead. But Indy has all the knowledge and all the items right now that he needs. This is actually going to be a really good uh, race right down to the finish. Moon Risen doing some combat in level 4. I think he's trying to dig out that other item. That is, uh... And those quad shooter rooms are not being friendly to Fendi today. They, that's the second time he's gotten caught by one of those rooms. But, he knows where the Triforce is, so it's just a matter of grinding it. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Scandler in chat is asking, has Moon found two? Yeah, Moon found two first. Um, he did not have... He only had one bomb, and we think that he just didn't want to use that last bomb to finish digging it, so he left. But he did not find... Um either item, as far as I know, and two, or the Triforce. Does get his Triforce out of four, though. Oh, uh, that was... Uh, Andy just farmed the old man to get a fairy drop so he could clear this room. That's heads-up play. <laughs> I wondered what he was doing, because I'm like, he's got full bombs, what's he waiting for? Like, what's he trying to farm bombs for? But yeah, that's uh, that is pretty good. I like that. Yeah, just got the 15 hits, and then went and killed like a little moblin or something to get that last drop. Now Moon Risen has left Death Mountain is going to check Forgotten Spot. Hopefully he goes back to Death Mountain because that's where all the dungeons are. We know where they all are. Okay, it looks like he is heading back up. He just wanted to get that Forgotten Spot. He did not want Forgotten Spot to turn into the Forgotten Spot. He will find level 3 on this screen. Did he get the bow out of four? I never saw him get the bow. Yeah, uh, Chad is I also saying he, he left four. Yeah. We will finally get to see this level three, though. Indy needs to get back up there. I hope he didn't forget about level three being up there. He has full bombs. What is Indy looking for? He knows that 9 is in the forest. Maybe 8? Maybe he hasn't seen 8? But I thought he saw 8 first. Yeah, he saw 8 first. I'm not sure what, what dungeon he could be looking for over here. Unless he's looking for the white sword item, but he... We know that the white sword item's not really gonna... It's not going to be required, that's for sure. I mean, it could be a quality of life item, like the red ring, but... But he is up a saved. Indy didn't see seven? Maybe he didn't see uh, seven. Yeah, I'm not sure he when he got his burn bush. Yeah, I don't remember when he got his burn bush. Uh, Raft is in three. Raft is the floor item in three. Uh, Moon Risen does not pick it up, so... I'm gonna guess that means... Um, he knows now that he does not need to do any more overworld exploration. So Moon Risen had to have seen all the dungeons. Alright, Indy back in six. Uh, this should just be a Triforce run.
Unless he still thinks he needs a power bracelet or something, because, yeah, if he hasn't seen seven, that could be a problem. Wait, he's gonna get the Triforce right now, so... Yep. Alright, uh, he gets the Triforce, alright. Now, the one benefit for Moomers in, since we started with a quarter, he may just be saying, you know what, I can, if I can get all eight Triforces, let me get them, and then I'll worry about my digging. Yeah. Because there's, he's already got, he knows where the Silvers are, and he's got a White Sword and a Wand Sword and an Emmy Key, so all the combat stuff's fine. He really is just like, you know, the last thing you want to do is have it be like, um, dig a dungeon out, get two or three heart containers, and then have, like, the bow be on the way to your next Triforce. Yeah. Nice. Right, so now Indy's back in three. Magic Boomerang found in... Uh, d dungeon three. It's the basement item. And, of course, Mooners and says, thank you, no thank you. I believe Indy's about to find the transport. Yeah, so that's going to take him over to that two-segment room. Oh, no. It took him someplace else. Was he already in the two-segment room? Oh, I think okay, maybe that's what it is. You start over by the two-segment room. Well, Moon Risen definitely walked out of that three. We're we'll have to see if Andy needs to use the ladder to get there because there was definitely a, what there's definitely one room that is ladder blocked, but it's not the kind of ladder block. It was that weird like only in Second Quest Nine room that has the awkward like prong to get across the moat. Oh yeah. I don't know yeah, how to describe it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, There's it's like the for moon reason. There we go. He's gonna see that and be very happy. And now he is done with four. And now he's seen three, four, six. Um, it's probably heading back to two. Would be my guess. So Indy is gonna take the raft. So yeah, he's. That also makes me believe that we were right thinking that he didn't see seven yet, because yeah. to him seven could theoretically be on the raft, and it's right in front of you, and you might as well grab it. Oh, uh, Moon Risen's going to do the same thing that Indy did. He's going to go clear that Goma room, looking for the third floor item, or the second floor item, the third item. I mean, these runners are basically neck and neck. They, uh, as long as Moon Risen finds his ladder when he needs to, then they'll be in the exact same spot, pretty much Triforce and Go mode. Yeah. Yeah, Indy still needs to find seven and nine. He knows nine's in the forest, but he's still got to go find it. So yeah, Moon Risen has a slight, maybe, knowledge advantage just by knowing where all the uh, dungeons are. Oh, and he's going to... He's going to realize the Wall Masters in that room. So he gets his uh, four heart out of one. And now he'll likely head to two... No, he's pulling out a whistle. Oh, he's up a... He up a back to start. Let's see where he's heading. I think he's heading to two. I think he just realized. Oh, he's still whistling somewhere. Uh, that looks like where seven was. Oh, I thought maybe going he was to going five. To... I was going to five. Oh, okay. No, he has he has five. I don't know why he's going to five. He's he's finished five, eight maybe. I think he's doing what I thought he was doing, and he just went to the wrong street. I think he's going to this hint shop. Ah, uh, there we go.
Well, that's like helpful. That. There we go. <laughs> I think he just realized. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think he just put it together. He's like, wait, that's what I need. I need the ladder. I play a melody. All right. Korea has the power Rick bracelet. Rick so... with the power bracelet, so uh, that means power bracelet is in seven somewhere. And three uh, has the magical boomerang, which we knew. So Indy is trying to figure out how to get to this Triforce. He's got the compass, but not the map. And he... He's perhaps looking for the item. If he still thinks he's overworld block somewhere, he might be looking for that power bracelet. Is he going to the other hint shop? Is that where Mooner is inside? I mean, he did yeah, save, like he's yeah. Going. Yeah, he's heading to it's another one. Dig Dogger Gazer with the wand. We already knew that. Both because we found it and because we've seen that hint. Goma creeps with the recorder. So that means the recorder is in six. And Gurria grumbles with the red ring. So that means red ring is in seven. So seven is power well, versus like red ring. Recorder and six. That is all yeah, our there's... information. I mean, we don't... There's nothing else to find. Yeah, that was actually very helpful hints tonight. There wasn't two or three hints all pointing to the same dungeon. And now he is recordering. Alright, so Indy did get his Triforce out of three. He found the... the path with the ladder. Uh, Mooners and still trying to kind of, I think, figure out where he needs to whistle to. Well, there's two options for him. Play a melody doesn't necess because we still haven't seen the white sword item. So necessarily, it doesn't mean that it's behind two. It could be that he has to go check. He might be thinking, like, do I go to two or do I find these last couple of whistle spots like East Death Mountain or... Oh. Um, Speaking oh, of white sword, sword item. Sword item. <laughs> of course. <laughs> It's an East Death Mountain, and it's a heart container. I'm still Indy. leaving the heart marker on the tracker as level one, because that was the one that actually we had to find. We, we worked for that one. <laughs> uh, Indy does have enough hearts if he wanted to entertain a magical swords check, but uh, I suspect with wand and white sword, he will be uh, in... Well, once he finds these dungeons, he's... I guess if he routes back close enough, maybe he would go for it. But... Alright, so Moonrisen is back in two. I think he has pieced it together now. And, uh... If I remember correctly from Indy's trip into two, both of the um, items are up in the top, basically, like, looks like a T. Um, and I think that that is where Moon Risen didn't want to bomb to get to in his first uh, trip into this dungeon. But now he's got plenty of bombs, he knows what he needs is in here. So one thing about the dynamics of two, unless you have a room that prevents you from bombing, like the like Zelda's room, you can bomb any wall that is connected, just because that's how the dynamics of level two are in first quest. So it's pretty rare that you can't bomb in a direction you need to go if it looks like you can go that way. Um, like I said, unless it's something like a... Um, either Princess Zelda's room, or sometimes it can be stopped by the um, the rooms with the staircases on the far right. Yeah, a right-hand staircase. Alright, so Indy is doing raft checks. So yeah, he's still looking for level 7 and level 9. He's gonna go check the other raft spot? I thought maybe I'd go check the other raft spot and maybe grab the silvers while he was down there.
finds another large hint. Or a uh, large secret, I mean. I think this is the ladder room this, for Lunar. This thing. is the ladder room. So he'll grab his ladder and then he will be... He has the compass, knows where the Triforce is. And he will be off and running. He's got to run back the three and get his Triforce out of there. And he's got to run south and grab the Triforce out of here, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got to get the Triforce out of two. Which, this is the room that gave uh, Indy some fits, so let's see if... Um, let's see if Moon can deal with it. This, yeah, these quad shooter rooms can be pretty nasty, especially when they start lagging like that. But he does get it done, and Indy does grab the silvers off of the coast. So Indy the first with silvers and bow. If he just goes a couple couple screens west, he will... Oh, he whistled away instead of... He was only two screens away from level 9. But Moon Risen heading back towards 3. Not sure where Indy's going. He's back up in Death Mountain. Baying again. I think... I think he's starting to realize that he never burned down in the forest and my, I think that's probably about where he's heading. I mean that's I, I do that a lot when I'm running. I, I if I'm thinking, I don't want to stop moving while I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start heading towards this thing and if I think of a better thing to do, I'll just change my plan when I think of it. But like let me you know the if he's like, well, I still have an item in this dungeon. So he starts heading towards that dungeon, and then he's, while well, he's looking at his tracker, and he goes, oh, wait, 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 I haven't burned this stuff. Okay. And then he switches yeah. the game plan, so. Yeah, I, I do a lot of that, too. That, you know, a lot of runners subscribe to that never stop moving theory. Uh, Moonrisen's pretty much taken a perfect path to the Triforce, I believe. I think the Triforce is only one or two rooms away. Uh, um, yep, right, one room south. Uh, Indy opted to go north out of that, uh, weird room that we were talking about. Oh, the wall masters again. Okay, all eight Triforces in hand for Moonrisen. He knows where level nine is. Unfortunately, there's no place anywhere close to 9 to whistle to, so he's almost going to have to up an A and go back to start. No, he's going to walk it. Yeah, the, from where he is, yeah, probably yeah, best is just hoof it. Yeah. And then Plus, you keep, keep all your, your hearts. Oh, nope, he's going to up A save anyway. <laughs> Alright, what do I know? He's the one racing it. He's the one going into 9 under a minute, uh, under an hour, so uh, good for him. <laughs> Uh, Indy just bought something, bombs maybe? Uh, um, I saw a blue ring, but he doesn't have enough money for the blue ring. Oh, he's gonna buy a potion. Moonrisen, I mean, he's gonna buy potions. Oh, he needs to grab silvers, that's a good call, Scandler. He still has to go over and grab silvers off the coast. Hopefully um, so to that. have the money to just buy the forty dollar potion <laughs> drink it and buy another forty. <laughs> like Well I guess he bought the fifty drank it so he doesn't have to go to a ferry spot and then ferry bought spot, a forty yeah. to refill it. I'm like, that's some KFC math right there. <laughs> ah, silver's in hand now for Moon Risen. I'm wondering if Indy is maybe heading towards the hint shops. He's only one or two screens. This should be one of the hint shops. He's already bought one of them. Goma creeps with the recorder, so he knows that now. He 
knows one of the items in six. All right, 58 minutes and 28 seconds. Moon Risen is into level nine. So this will be our first quest level nine. Uh, we should have six staircases and then two, um, two staircases will lead to heart drops, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, because we know where all the other items are, so the, the staircase items should only be heart containers in here. So we are truly looking for a roar and a door today. Indy back in eight. He doesn't have a Triforce out of here, so it's in that bad play. Moonders and finds a staircase, opts to just keep exploring. And he gets his Triforce out of eight. If he just knew where that pesky level seven was. It's, it is to the left here, right? Over in the dead woods? Yeah. Yeah, it's one screen left of here. Under this burn bush. Oh, no, one screen north of here. This should be level seven. Some tough combat in this nine. Lionels and these uh, mixed rooms with the bubbles. And we're looking at still both runners are on green tunics. So this is, this, this stuff is deadly. And, and getting combat is gonna be an important part of this, this level nine because we're only we can only take two body yeah. shots without dying yeah uh body shop does four hearts worth of damage so yeah um you can take two in the end and if, if you get hit a third time he's gonna kill you Indy's looking... Oh, he does not opt for the staircase. And we have the hint that Gleok guards the compass. So that's uh, one less thing that we really need to dig if we find a Gleok. I and mean, if we don't find the Zelda before we find a Gleok, I would clear my Gleok. I mean, that's... Okay. Sometimes it's like Lionel's. Well, that's every room. Thanks, buddy. But yeah. if you're going to tell me exactly what enemy is doing it, and it's one that it's probably only one of one in the dungeon, yeah, I'm going to look. Yeah. Hey, heart! Here's our, here's our heart. Gotta have heart. I don't know. Do, do you take that if you're, like you said, on green tunic? I mean, I guess it doesn't help you an awful lot because of the... Oh, we have Ganon. Yeah, we're, we're going to find out real fast. And there's also a shutter door that could potentially be Zelda to the right. Uh, nice stun lock. Should take 16? Oh, he's got a white sword, so... Uh, eight hits. Alright, we are we just got one path left. Ah, I got excited when I saw that other shutter door. Right, and he gets his Triforce out of five, so he is in go mode himself. He still has to find level 9, though. He knows it's in the forest somewhere, if he remembers that hint. Our moon Risen is in a far, a, a far corner of this dungeon, so if, say, the princess is, like, over in column P, you know, he's not anywhere near her right now. Yeah. And you're gonna do the up A fairy refill? And oh, he... nope, that's it. Oh. That's the <laughs> We have Zelda. <laughs> All right, get your GGs in chat for Moon Risen Phoenix, finishing with a official racetime.gg race time, time of 103.12. Very jetsy there. Knowing the silvers and having the recorder start really led to a very fast seed, and 
both runners were doing very well. Just Endy not having, not finding that level seven is really all that the only difference. Yeah, yeah. The early candle paid off for Moonrism. Okay, so Indy, I guess, did find level 9 at some point. Uh, I must have missed him going in there, but he went right back to it. So, we will try to get our racers in the booth and see if they want to uh, say some final words. Uh, Indy has gone ahead and forfeited the uh, race time. GG room is about a minute ahead of our official stream. That's a good shot. He just finishes the scene out. If you've got you've got all it's, the gear to go through nine, yeah, he'd probably just finish it out. Yeah, no, it's a yeah, and it's still a very respectable time to finish any. You know, he would have finished it in another two, three, four minutes at most. Yeah, and Indy has officially forfeited. Trying to get, uh... There we go, now Moon Risen has joined us. GG and congratulations on the win. Oh, thank you, T6. My goodness. I was freaking out back there. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... Getting that uh, early blue candle, I think, was... A Kind of the difference, because you uh, burned through the forest, you found level 9 early, you found level 7 early. Indy did not find level 7. Uh, I think that was the last dungeon he located. And, yeah, he kind of did the tour of Hyrule looking for it. Oof, yeah, that blue candle, I was like, okay, first kill is bomb. If not, okay, look for it on 6, and sure enough. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh... It paid off for you. And then uh, how about that cluster of dungeons up uh, the graveyard and Death Mountain? Uh, levels uh, 1, 2, 4, 6, 3. They were all up there. <laughs> and 5 was on Death Armos, so all of it was yeah. pretty clustered. Yeah. Yeah. Now, to play, the play of the game for me was when I found out that... Um, that the ladder was recorder blocked, and then I'm suddenly looking and i'm looking like okay two's the the only two's the only dungeon that's recorder block and i'm like wait a minute wasn't there a dig yeah. dogger possibly guarding an item somewhere mm -hmm. you must have missed looking something in two go back and then i found the bomb wall and it, i immediately felt behind yeah uh so uh indy did get the uh ladder on his first trip into two before you now you went into two you found two before he did but when you left uh he was right behind you to get into two and he found that ladder and so yeah whenever you saw that um the recorder hint you know the hint that it was recorder block we were just waiting for you to put it together we were like he knows like he's just got to put all the pieces together now he's got all the information he needs like it's just he's just okay. got to uh put it together for a moment there, I was thinking, I almost uh, got in my own head again, thinking that the recorder was instead Dig Dogger blocked. Yeah. And both of you did a pretty, a lot of like, kind of bouncing back and forth, especially because both of you started on opposite sides of that dungeon cluster. So he was seeing all the stuff you found late, early, and then he found all the stuff you found early, late. Um, he... He also, like, he didn't have wood arrows. He, you, you went in and found that one Goma in level one. And, you know, the one that didn't drop the item, even though you thought it was going to drop the item, and then you realized it wasn't the item. Um, he, he found that with, with a bow, but no arrows. And you found it with arrows, but no bow. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was a moment. <laughs> Oh, you both you both did the exact same thing. You cleared everything but one of the one of the wall bastards, left, did the rest of the dungeon, came back with the other half of your bow arrow combo, killed the goma, what what the heck, walked out of the room, saw an extra wall baster, and went, Hey, wait a minute, mister. But yeah, that was that was exactly 
you you put the words right out, right out of my mouth there. That is exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so this moves you up to one and one in the Swiss stages. Um, who was your first run opponent? My first run opponent was Blessed B. Who I believe is racing right now, actually. Yeah, that was another really quick seed too, wasn't it? Uh, you versus Blessed B. I think it. I, th I think he finished with a time of like one hundred eight. One twenty eight, in fact. My I finished at one thirty four. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe it was Indy because I was looking at yours and Indy's previous race, and one of you I knew had like a really quick seed in your first race. I uh, that would be Eat My Steel that that uh, beat out Indy yeah. in a one hundred eight. Gotcha. Um, I was yeah, that, trying to get that nine was interesting. Let's see if I can get some other info here pulled up. Yeah, the nine. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to uh, you. You seem to take the uh, good path through nine. Um, and it and it was a pretty favorable seed too, with shapes one through six and uh, vanilla. First quest one uh, seven eight nine. Yeah, to be honest, I was actually kind of afraid when I saw that because I know Andy Andy is a. Oh, one moment. Oh, speaking of Andy Andy. <laughs> Hi, GG's Andy. Hey, thank you, thank you, GG's as well. That was a that was a fun little seed. I gotta say. Yeah, I I have to admit, as I was just as I was just saying when I uh, when you cut when you popped in. When I saw it was what it was a shapes front and one Q back, I'm like, Andy Andy was just practicing Z1 vanilla for two hours, and yeah. this seed, this seed feeds practically into that playstyle. <laughs> I might be in trouble. Yeah, I was really happy about uh, no second quest, <laughs> uh, for sure. But that didn't seem to matter. It was a that was a quick little seed. That was just fun. It was just a fun seed. I mean, despite the loss, but yeah. still. Uh, yeah, the the seed was very generous. It gave you, you know, silvers, um, early white sword, early wand. Yeah, you you both had uh, good combat. Was about the only thing you were missing was uh, was rings. Yeah, red ring was in seven. Yeah, yeah, the red ring was in seven, and neither of you wanted to dig that. You know, no, understandably. Uh, it was speaking of level seven that. Uh, that ended up being the equalizer because Wilson found <laughs> level seven on his first pass through the dead woods, and then yeah, you right, and we had forgot that you hadn't seen it. We were like, why isn't he going to seven? Oh, like, oh yeah. he still has to find it. Uh, yeah, that yeah. If you watch it back, that was the uh, that was the killer because you guys were pretty much even at that point. Uh, oh, and dang. then yeah, and then you guys had you had to go dig looking for seven, and uh, Moon Risen just had to run around and grab his. Well, actually, he had to go grab his ladder because he bailed on two early on his first dip. Um, ah, but yeah, it, can you so, guess the rule yeah, I, it was a close scene. Can you guess the rule I forgot, Andy? Uh, uh no. <laughs> you tell me. Bomb, uh, bomb walls in one, two, and three will oh, always oh, you, bomb. Oh, you for, oh, <laughs> oh, yes, they sure do. Yep, Except that one that room and two that didn't, because. <laughs> Something was to the left of it. Uh, yeah, there was a... Zelda's room was in level two. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I thought but, that was weird, but that would be why. Yep. So, how did you feel about your dungeon locations? Um, it was kind of... They were just like, here, they're all right here. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, your, get your dungeons here, and like, yeah, nowhere else. I didn't dig any northeast, which is like where we started. Yeah, and then just moseyed, found a couple. It's like, oh, I'm not strong enough for this. I'll move. Oh, hey, another dungeon. I'm not strong enough for this. Let's move on. Oh, hey, and then it was just that. Yeah, and it was kind of funny. Point. Yeah, we were talking to Moonrisen about it, and yeah, you guys came into the that string of dungeons from opposite sides. So you started in Death Mountain, and he started up through the graveyard, and then you both got to that level one, and he had arrows but no bow. You had a bow but no arrows. Uh. <laughs> I almost, I was like, just go buy arrows. I found whatever level that was, one, and I was like, ah, you should go get arrows. And then I thought I needed them, 
or that goma goma. in the top left but i you know you don't you didn't you both did the same thing you both left you both missed a wall master in that last heart container uh floor drop both yeah, left. No. Both came back with the uh, bow and arrow. <laughs> moon Risen, you know how wow. on the tracker there's the spot for the heart at the bottom for if you get a heart on like Old Man or the ladder spot, right? I put level one there because both you did the same thing in that same room. <laughs> oh, man. The trolls got us, that's for sure. <laughs> they know how to make them. Yeah. I, but in, in a scene like this, you're, you'll take these trolls where it's like, eh, oh, okay. Oh, please, yeah. Don't don't give me the ladder into a quarter into power bracelet trolls. I'll take, I'll take, oh, I, I missed a heart container all day. Oh, yeah. Bunnies and ropes in the overworld. I was like, that's good. Yeah. I'll t- definitely take that. Yeah, the dungeon, dungeon uh, enemies weren't, I don't know, some rooms were terrible. Yeah, the, but not... the four the four corner shooter rooms. Ugh, always. But your combat yeah. is definitely <laughs> showing through, Andy. Like that, you did a, had a really good Glia kill, and you had like, did you get a six Gorea kill with one bomb? Um, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that went really well. Yeah, yeah we were laughing at the level eight, the four headed Gleok into the three headed Gleok oh, into the back to back patchers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, come on, game. Yeah. <laughs> all of which were like not even required. Yeah, all Please of which were nothing. A wood boomerang <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah. But that that's I... rando for you, and that's how it goes. Yeah. But you know, I guess uh, I don't. Is that it for me? I don't know how this works. There's no yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, if, all right. If you mean in uh, the tournament, um, yeah. There's going to be, from what I was talking earlier. It looks like mo- uh, all the people who are three and two after the five rounds of Swiss will make it to the bracket stage, and then there's going to be a play-in for anybody who's um, for another group of people that are like in the two-three range. So you definitely are still alive in the tournament. You need to win at least two of your next three, but that's not hard with the combat you have. You can do it. And now Moon Risen's at one and one, so Moon Risen is right in that like big pile of people some of which are like i played somebody like ta and some of which are like um you know are just got, coming up from the o1 bracket and there'll be a bunch of people right in that middle spot so yeah you, you definitely still have three more weeks to go and have a shot at making the bracket stage oh fair enough that's radical all right well you'll see more of me everybody and ggs <laughs> again the moon reason phoenix uh, uh yeah that was fun again and uh thank you everybody for taking the time out your day to put this whole shenanigans together really appreciate it and all you all for watching that's my that's all i got gg's ND. Right. heck of a race there you you're gonna you're gonna get a couple of wins in this in this tournament i know it we'll see we'll see rookie rumble champion and all yeah. <laughs> oh, that, was, that, was, that was another time if you guys haven't had a chance the links for our runners twitches are in the chat go give them a follow uh andy you said uh mooters and said you were practicing uh vanilla before we started yes yes i was doing that i do face yeah just any any zeldas it gets done for z1 and z2 pretty much that's what what we're all about good deal okay uh well does anybody have any uh, final thoughts? What you're looking forward to the rest of the tournament? What uh, what you're not looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the chaos. It's going to be the one in one bracket next week. But before uh, before I do sign now off, I do have to thank Deus Ex Machina and uh, especially Magic Friends for the commentary and tracking. Magic Friends doing boat here tonight. That's never easy, folks. Just need to put yeah. that point across. Yeah, he did a great job uh, keeping me company and keeping me in line with uh, where all the items were. But again, GG to ND and uh, thank y'all for watching and uh, we'll see you later this week and next week for Next in the Ranch. Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, if you want more Zoda 1 uh, racing tonight, uh, there is plenty more going on tonight. I've got the schedule pulled up in front of me here. Right now, we've got uh, Sightown and Leslie Pro about 20 minutes into a seat on Speed Gaming 3. 
And on Speed Gaming 1, on Speed Gaming Prime, bbq.gov and Captain Green are in the 1-0 bracket, and they're about to start momentarily. So if you want a fresh race, jump over there. If you want one in the middle, uh, that Sidetown Leslie Pro race is really good. They're both in the 0-1 bracket after a rough week, and Sidetown was... Both of those got really deep in last year's tournament, so... Both, yep. both races are awesome, and there's even more coming up later. Yep, and there's also a race going on on Z1 Randomizer channel. Uh, that's Bommy versus Your Sign. Uh, um, and there will be another race starting on this channel, Speed Gaming 4, in about an hour. It's set to kick off at 10.30. Uh, that is Shaddy and Antlers. So, yeah, you got a full Ooh, night. Those are good ones, too. Oh, yeah, that, that should be a good one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay up for it because I have to wake up at 6 a.m. for work, but I will definitely be falling asleep to it. <laughs> that one's going to be a slobber knocker. But again, uh, thanks everybody for coming out. Thanks our, to our runners. Uh, thanks to all the people behind the scenes. Thanks to Speed Channel or Speed Gaming for letting us use their channel on Twitch. And until next time, I guess we are signing out. I'll catch you all later. Have a good night, friends.